Hello, wonderful fans. Welcome back to your car's life. Each show is an adventure, and you're always a part of the fun. If you're new, click the subscribe button to become a part of our great group. The next level up in performance will be a new ZR1. This week, prototypes of this car were seen testing at Germany's Nürburgring course. There were two clear versions. Both had a wide body design that was even crazier than the Z06. One prototype had a much bigger rear wing than the other, which had stickers with the number 38 on them on the front windscreen and back fascia. Chevy might make a high downforce package for the ZR1, like the ones it has for other Corvette models. The new vent in the hood, which also creates downforce, and the second intake in the rear fenders, which is likely there to move air for brake cooling, were also aerodynamic features that were shared by both prototypes. Some of the shots show exhaust tips that look like they have strange extra parts on them. These are there to meet noise limits at the ring. Chevrolet hasn't even said anything about a new ZR1, but reports say it will have a 5.5-liter V8 engine that is twin-turbocharged, just like the Z06. It has a flat-plane crankshaft, dual overhead cams, dry sump lubrication, and a redline of 8,600 RPM. The engine is a work of art in and of itself. The Z06 has a top power of 670 horsepower, which makes it the most powerful naturally aspirated V8 ever put into a production car. It is said that adding turbocharging will increase the ZR1's power to about 850 horsepower which is about 100 horsepower more than the C7 Corvette ZR1 supercharged V8 had. Try not to find a car with a manual engine. A lot of the time, the only choice will be the 8-speed dual-clutch automatic from the C8 Corvette, which will only power the back wheels. It's likely that it will come out next year as a 2025 model, but some projects at General Motors have been pushed back because of recent strikes and problems with the supply chain. That means the car might not come out until the 2026 model year. It's impressive that the ZR1 isn't seen as the end of the C8 platform speed road. It is said that the N will be a Corvette Zora as a tribute to Zora Arkus Duntov, an early Corvette engineer. It is said that the model will have an all-wheel drive system with the ZR1's engine in the back and the Corvette E-Ray Hybrid's electric motor in the front. In the E-Ray, the electric motor is estimated at 160 horsepower. When combined with the ZR1's twin-turbo V8, the Zora should have a total output of 1,000 horsepower. 